What's going on, guys? Uh, it's Tristan's here. Uh, now, I'm sorry I haven't made a YouTube video in a while. Yeah, I, I'm back. <laughs> but, uh, sorry it's been weeks, months, year. I don't, I wouldn't say year, but it's been weeks and months since I made a YouTube video. Ever since my last video, I hope you guys liked my last video of the new 164 scale monster trucks I just found um, video. I hope you guys liked that. Uh, now this is going to be just an update video for you guys. Um, oh, by the way, look what I'm wearing. Yep, John Force. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but right now, I want to say something before we get into the update video. I um, I don't know if you all know this or not, but I am actually up to 142 views on my first part of the qualifying session on on my channel. 142 views, man. Oh, man. I, I'm so glad that I got up to 142 viewers. I can't believe you viewers are watching the the crap out of it man uh, that is just really intense but yeah i'm so glad that um you all are watching my bowling videos um which is what i'm talking about i forgot to say um the first part of qualifying at the gene carter pro shop classic that was just that was just there i hope you guys went to it uh it was awesome i uh my dad showed me on Facebook um, that Ryan Simonelli did capture the win in the Gene Carter Pro Shop Classic and uh, yeah it was it was really I didn't see it I really didn't see it don't 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 ask um, see, say um I did you see it um, for real and I'm just telling you no I didn't go see the finals because of uh one my um you're going to have to go back to the video, um, the last video I, I talked about it. But Ryan Simonelli did capture the win. So I want to congratulate Ryan Simonelli here on YouTube. Ryan, if you're watching this, uh, congratulations um, on winning the the Gene Carter Pro Shop Classic for 2019. But, oh, and by the way, we're also going to be talking about 2020, which is going to be really fun. Now, before we get into that, I just want to say that I haven't made a YouTube video in a while, and you all probably wonder why. I just can't say, and you're gonna have to, there's gonna be a big surprise when, when I make my next video. So, but right now, first of all, I wanna give a big shout out to all, um, all my subscribers um, for watching my videos and everything like that. I hope you stay in touch with me and all. So, yeah, it's um, a real hassle for me because I've been so busy and uh, it's, uh, don't ask, I, I, um, I don't have a job yet. Um, it doesn't, it, it doesn't mean I have a job yet. Um, it, it's just I've been so busy, um, but um, I'm waiting to get a job sooner or later. So, yeah. So, anyway, let's get up to the update video. Um, well, let's first talk about what happened. Um, I don't know if you all seen it, but that was a great final. I don't, I'm talking like this is a talk about Tristan episode. It's the old show I used to do. Now, speaking of which, I'm probably going to have to... Now, you all are probably not going to like me for this, but I'm going to have to delete all the talking with Tristan episodes because, number one, I'm no longer doing talking with Tristan episodes. No, I'm not. I made up my mind because of uh, one, I I just can't do it anymore. I don't have the time. I mean, I really don't have the time. Um, next year is going to be big. And I'm probably going to have a job soon. And it's just annoying. It's really annoying. I just can't do it. Sorry. I, I, I can't really do it. I... I or maybe I'll make it a return or someday. I don't not know. Oh, um, but it's just I'm going to have to delete all the videos um, of the Talking With Tristan episodes. I wish, I've been watching some of it, some of it were crappy, but yeah, I mean, and it's just, it's just been rough. I mean, like, it's been rough week, month, 
I don't know. But yeah, it's just rough. So I, I'm just going to have to delete them. I'm sorry if you guys are watching it or didn't watch it. I just don't have that many views on there. That's all. So, yeah. Which is a big, big upsetting. I know you guys are going to like me for that, but yeah, that's okay. I'll still make Talking with Tristan episodes. I'm um, just going to let you know if you want to... Um, I'll probably start deleting it sometime out, uh, after this weekend. Uh, sometime this weekend. I'm not sure. Um, but I'm just going to let you give... Gonna give you some time. If you want to watch Talking with Tristan episodes, go back to episode 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I think there was no 6. I think there was a 7. 7. Just 7. No 6. I, I didn't... I forgot to get 6 on there, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, watch those 6 episodes. Uh, they were awesome. I did an awesome job... Uh, on them uh, back in 2018 when I uh, which was the launch of my new on my channel which was the launch of my secondary channel so because way I'm saying secondary channel it's because of uh I started MTBL uh, monster truck bowling league which was my first ever channel I did on YouTube but I decided to cancel that one and Stick with Tristan Racing Fan 2000 from now on because I had to I had, I record on my tablet back then uh, And I'm right now I'm recording on my phone. I'm trying to get used to this phone uh, But right now I'll probably have another channel coming up very soon. I don't know but I Don't know what to call it probably probably be a return of MTBL. I don't know but just a guess so um, how about this? I'll do, I'll do this for you. Comment below. Comment. Go to the comments below and make sure to say if you want me to do MTBL again. Comment below about that. What do you guys think? I don't know, but yeah. So anyway, let's get up to the update video. First of all, I if you all didn't notice or not, but I was watching the Reading Finals. I didn't go. I didn't go. To the ready files. Don't ask. I really didn't go. Okay. I really didn't. I didn't have time to go. Because we didn't have. Okay. So this is the um, what happened. I really wanted to go to the qualifying event. But the thing is. Uh, I couldn't go. Because if I had a bowling tournament. Um, I had to go to. And I'm sorry for that. But yeah. But also. I'll make you a deal. Um, not make you a deal. What the heck. <laughs> Sorry, I'm t I, um I have words stuck in my mouth my, my mind. But anyway, I'm probably also going to do another video of my bowling tournament on the junior leagues. And I'm not I'm not kidding. I'll probably try to do a vlog for you guys, another vlog on the junior leagues if if I can get into junior leagues because of, uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll tell you about it some other time. But right now, that's going to be coming up on this Saturday. Uh, I hope I will try to do it because I, gosh, I don't know. This, this is going to be real, real hard. So anyway, um, yeah. So anyway, let's get on with the update video. First of all. If you haven't seen the Reading Nationals, like I said, the Reading Nationals uh, at Maple Grove Raceway, because they were just here, like, this September. Uh, I watched it on television, the, the whole final eliminations, and it was really good. And I was, actually, I was rooting for John Force the whole time, and Ron Caps too. So... I'm talking like this is a tr talk more Tristan episode, <laughs> but that's okay, guys. Uh, but you can say whatever you want in the comments below. I don't care. But anyway, I did watch my favorite hero come down the track, um, and he actually did really good. And let me tell you about it. I watched it on my television, and my parents were. He made it all. John Force did make it all the way to the finals against Jack Beckman. Uh, another funny car driver, top fuel funny car driver in NHRA history, and actually got the win. I I was so I thought John Force was gonna smoke him off the line, 
just try to deep stage that car. I mean, I thought uh, he was going to get the win from right there. I was like, what were you thinking, John? Seriously. I was like, I, I did say that, for real. I did say that. Um, But, uh, yeah, if you don't, if you didn't see that video, uh, 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 the whole highlights from Speed Motorsports and Fox video, uh, channel of that video, uh, I have in my like, um, play, like video playlist, uh, if you go to my channel, it's still there, and I, um, it's just, I watched it for a few minutes, and I, I couldn't get, I just could, I just, I was mind blown, I was like mind blown, uh, from that, from that highlight right there, because I thought Force was gonna get it, oh, he's been winning, you know how many wins he's got in Reading? He's got like seven. He's got like seven wins. I I couldn't. That's just mind blowing. I just mind blowing. But anyway, yeah. Um, shout out to you, John Force Racing. Uh, I did subscribe to you guys, and I hope you subscribe to me as well someday. Um, but yeah. Uh, so anyway, uh. Also, what's been, um, now I know you guys are going to yell at me thinking, where's Monster Truck sign-up series? Well, to be honest with you, um, that's going to have to come, t um, someplace after 2019 and into the 2020 event, 2020 year. So, I can't wait for 2020 to begin. I'm so, that's going to be super big. In motorsports is going to be super big in 2020. There's going to be a lot of changes. Plus, oh, speaking of a lot of changes, um... I actually saw on motorsports.com that they reveal, revealed, I hate to, now we're going to also talk about Formula E, which is what I'm talking about right now. This is about Formula E, by the way. Um, Formula E just uploaded on motorsports.com on Google. I couldn't believe this. I mean, I just couldn't believe it. I, I'm just mind blown by this. Because, I don't know if you remember, Lee, I mean, not Lee Diffie, uh, he's for IndyCar. Um, Jack Nichols, Jack Nichols, the commentator for, um, oh, sorry about that, guys, that's my, uh, dog buster. Um, the Beagle. Um, uh, anyway, I don't know if you heard on one of his races, I think he said this at the Adir E. Prix, Saudi Adir E. Prix, I don't know where he said this, I don't know if it was Paris, Berlin, it was someplace around this year, I don't know, but to be honest, or no, no, it was Long Beach, never mind, it was, it was Long Beach, or, I don't know, post a comment below when you think he was, what race he said this from, but yeah, no, no, I remember now, never mind, never mind, um, uh, Monaco, Monaco of the free practice one, he, he said, uh, um, now, I don't know if you got this on your Google site or not, or maybe it was on Facebook or not. I don't know. But I uh, found out that Mercedes is actually going to Formula E. Oh, my gosh. That is going to be big. Mercedes and Formula E, they're not even electric. They're motors. They're really motors. I mean... Why would a Mercedes... Okay, think about this. Mercedes and Formula E. No. No. Formula E having Mercedes? No. That's ridiculousness. That's just ridiculousness. Because, see, the reason why... Formula One actually had Mercedes in the beginning. Because it all started out with McLaren Mercedes and just Mercedes. No, I have to disagree with that. There's no way they're um, there's no way that they made a Mercedes Formula E car. That's just unreal. And think about this for a minute. I mean, think about what Mercedes have to pay for that um, for that Formula E car. They have to spend millions of dollars on this because they're international worldwide. That's just unbelievable. That's just that's just unbelievable. We're gonna have a Mercedes Formula E car. I can't wait to see who's in it. Either, I want it to be 
Do you know what? Here's my list of Formula E drivers Um, I want to have in it. Either, let's say, um, Scott Speed, Yarno Truly, um, uh, Pascal Verlein, and, well, he's from the Mahindra team right now. I don't know if he's going to change or switch teams or not. I don't know, but he might go into Mercedes. I don't know. I just want those three top drivers to be in it. I won't. Cause they, we haven't seen Scott Scott Speed or Yarno Truly, cause the two of those guys were in um one Scott Speed was in Toro Rosso in the uh, for, Formula One cars, and Yarno Truly, I think he was in Renault. He's he's been switching back and forth in Formula One for some time, but I remember him in the uh, Renault uh, car, you know, driving for Fernando Alonso, and I think he was in a uh, Super Aguri as well. I have no idea, but yeah, you Formula One fans probably know. Um, but yeah, that's who I want to be have in it because we need an American driver. I know there's an American team and all that, but guess what? 2019, they didn't get any American drivers. That's just unbelievable. No American drivers. Not even a single American driver is in there. Plus, Mike, you can include Michael Andretti as a crew chief, but yeah, Michael Andretti was there in season one, or actually was season two, well, I don't know, I forget, but yeah, that's just crazy, I mean, that's just crazy, I think Nelson P.K. Jr. was an American, I have no idea, I forget, okay, I'm just, I got so much going on right now, it's not even funny, but yeah, um, yeah, so, anyway, yeah, a lot of stuff's been going on. That's Formula E. Next update. Um, well, I got so much going on right now, but I'll tell you what. Next video, bowling video, that's going to be coming up on Saturday. I'll probably upload it by Sunday. I'm not sure. But, yeah. So, anyway, um, hope you liked the video. Oh, before we go, I got to show you something. Um... Hold on, let me pause the video. I'll be right back. Look at that. Yup. If you can't tell on um, what it say, well, there it is. Ronnie Russell. He actually gave it to me. I want to give you a big shout out to Ronnie Russell. He's not on YouTube or anything. I don't know if he's on Facebook or anything. But yeah. So, he actually gave this to me at the Gene Carter Pro Shop Classic. And I forgot to show it to you guys. But I want to give a big shout out to Ronnie Russell for giving me this bowling ball. It's a 15, 16 pound bowling ball. Um, I just want to give him a big shout out here on YouTube. And yeah, so it's a big heavy bowling ball. It's really neat. And, and I'm just pounding on it. Yeah. So, plus if you didn't know, see that? I don't know if you can see it in there, but yeah, that's an insert. So, now I forgot to tell you about this in the beginning. Uh, I did get a bowling ball for um, as a gift, or uh, actually it wasn't a gift. I don't know what you would call it uh, what they, when they hand this to you. But yeah, it's got these inserts inside. Now, I forget the, what they're for and everything, but the, the thing is... Um, the pro, he was a pro, actually, and he bowled with this ball and then signed it. I saw him signing it, and all of a sudden, he came up to me and gave it to me. That's just awesome. I want to give you a big shout-out to you, Ronnie Russell. Now, the thing is, if you don't know anything about inserts, guys, well, you see this little hole right here, this thumb hole? This is actually for when the uh, pros, because back then, my grandfather actually... uh. Bold on a league, and it was my grandfather, uh, my grandfather's, f f um, f my father's father, and he actually bowled on a league. He did everything. He did baseball, tennis, soccer, football, everything, and even bowling. He, j he just didn't bowl on television. So, yeah, it's been, yeah. So anyway. <laughs> He he used and back then they used to have tape for where you tape on the bowling balls on this 
little thumb hole right there. Well, thumb hole right there. But yeah, that is pretty ingenious. But now they have an insert in here, which when your hand gets thumb or hand or thumb gets sweaty, you can put a little insert and it'll stick to your finger um, to the thumb hole, which is pretty neat. Um, I'm probably going to have to do a video about, you're going to see a video come about this coming in the future where I talk about this bowling ball. But I didn't bowl with this ball in my league. And I do have another bowling ball, but um, I'll show you that when we get to the vlog on Saturday. So anyway, guys, um, hope you like this video. Um, I said I put my bowling ball down. So anyway, guys, uh, this is a quick update video. Uh, hope you guys like it. Alright guys, I'll uh, see you guys later. I'll see you in the vlog for the bowling vlog. Alright, peace out.